When since I came to Australia, um, my family did not know English. So um, as I went on in my years at school, I've had to um, help my siblings with their homework when they come back from school because my parents didn't know English. So as the years went on, my English became better. That meant that I was one of the kids responsible for helping my siblings learn their homework and do their homework and assessments, kind of. It was helping her eight brothers and sisters with their schoolwork that made Toowoomba student Jeanne Shukarani realise she wanted to be a teacher. It showed me that I really wanted to do that. Like, I actually liked helping my siblings learn how to do their mathematics, do their... Yeah, that's basically the reason why, yeah. I was a natural. <laughs> But it was joining Harristown State High School's Future Teachers Club that sealed the deal. Her passion for teaching made her a natural fit for this club, which is a program being piloted across a number of Queensland state schools to encourage students to consider a teaching career. The Harristown Club is run by Head of Department for Junior and Secondary, Liam Holcomb. Um, I think uh, teaching has certainly, um, with you know, increasing in population and, and things like that, there's a need for more teachers uh, and it's always growing. It's one of those, I guess, industries everyone needs an education, so uh, you're always going to need more teachers. So whether it's changed, I'm not sure, but I, I certainly know that there's a need to, to promote um, teaching as a career, as a, as a good career option. The Future Teachers Club targets students in grades 7 to 10 who meet every week to give themselves a better understanding of the profession. Often with teaching it's one of those things where I think the role of a teacher is often uh, largely a mystery to people who, who don't see it happening. So Future Teachers Club is about giving students a bit of an insight into what teachers do, how we manage our role uh, and, and the decisions that we have to make it on a day to day basis. The aim is for students to start in the club but then transition into what is called the Future Teachers Program for Year 11 and 12 students where they can get a head start in their tertiary studies. In Toowoomba, that's where the University of Southern Queensland comes in. USQ has partnered with schools across the region and their aim is to create a fast tracking pathway for future teaching students into the university and into their Bachelor of Education. Professor Lindy Ann Abawi from USQ says while numbers of students in their teaching degree aren't dramatically down, USQ is lucky to host many courses with an online option, which makes them attractive to those opting to study teaching later in life as mature age students. There certainly has been some areas within our education that have been down and I think everyone realises the struggle that we have to get good STEM teachers um, and so the same thing to try and get those students who are passionate about those um, technology, science, math sorts of subjects to then come into teaching because we all know that there are other professions that might actually be a bit less stressful and give you more money. So um, though I don't think that they're as rewarding. So this is something that we're really, by starting off in this, this space, in the secondary space, but for students who are thinking of becoming teachers, it really does whet their ap appetite to then keep on going. And then they can sort of see the, the, the enjoyment and passion that teachers actually have when they're working with students and seeing the light bulb go on. On a recent visit to Toowoomba, Queensland Education Minister Grace Grace dropped into Harristown High School to see in action the initiative designed to address a shortage of teachers not just in Australia, but around the world. And obviously we are seeing a shortage of teachers not only in Australia and Queensland but around the world and we are trying to think of innovative ways that we can get students obviously um, you know enthused and passionate about becoming the teachers of the future and um, Teach Queensland is a fantastic start and um, Future Teachers is also part of that program and it's about giving students a taste and we've got about 50 students I think throughout Queensland that are actually linked to a university doing a subject to which they're getting credit for and hopefully they will graduate and we will employ them and they will become future Queensland teachers. For Jean Shukarani, her vision is not just to become a future teacher of health and physical education and history, but to become the sort of caring and understanding educator that she met in the English Language Development Unit at Toowoomba's Darling Heights State School in her first days at an Australian school. 
they care more about like your feelings and how your circumstances affect the way you work in class for example um my teachers in primary school like i went to darling heights and darling heights is known to be one of the most diverse primary schools in Toowoomba and we would have like a special section, the ELD section, where the teachers would help those who didn't understand English well and like they were just so caring and like they understood that you couldn't understand what they were saying but they kept on pushing you to like get the meaning of what they were saying so I feel like when the teacher cares about you personally and how you're going from and your background that makes them different. But all of the students in the Future Teachers Club at Harristown had very firm ideas of what makes a teacher great. They're willing to work with me, like they're willing to understand that I'm not, I'm not like I'm not the same as every other student, I'm not the same as my siblings who they might have taught, so they're happy to look at things from a different angle and to teach me different ways, like to, they're happy to help me one on one as opposed to just giving a blanket response or a blanket teaching version, they're happy to work individually and just make sure I can do as well as I can. Honestly I'm just inspired by some of the other teachers I've had from my uh, schooling. Their engagement with the students and the uh, lessons they can put across and teach us as a whole. But I want to be a teacher who can uh, who can relate with the students. Like the students can feel like I am a comfortable person to be around. Like someone they can tell something that's happening so that I can help them out, you know, like a comfortable teacher.